Hey everybody, it's Tim from Tabletop Audio. I wanted to introduce a new feature of SoundPad. SoundPad is an interactive audio tool that I created as an alternative to the 10-minute ambiences on the main part of the site. And it's for those of you who wanted more granular interactive control over individual sounds and levels. At this point, I've got three sound pads, the Dungeon, Dark Forest, and the one I'm using for this example called Starship. I had a user back when I released the first one uh, make a suggestion which I thought was really cool. And that was he wanted to be able to save groups of sounds as scenes or macros and be able to recall them at the click of a button. And I thought, great idea, I'm going to figure out how to do that. And this version, 0.9 beta, is the result. It works like this. You load up some sounds that you like, and there's a new save scene button at the top of the page, and you click that. And unfortunately, my recording software does not show that pop-up window, but I'm typing in engine room and clicking OK, and it appears as a saved scene at the top of the page now. So now I've got a saved scene, and I can then create another one by selecting some more sounds. And I'm going to call this one um, Loading Bay. So there's my second save scene. So I click on the sound, the, uh, the scene rather, and it loads up the collection of sounds associated with it. So this is a really cool way for GMs to do a minimal amount of prep. Um, let's say you have a map and you want to assign uh, a group of sounds to a room in a map, or in this case a starship, or a group of sounds to an encounter, or a musical track to, to an encounter, or an NPC or anything. You can save groups of scenes at the top of the page and click on them with one button. Uh, the best way to do this, um, the best way to use this rather, is to select sounds uh, that have the loop icon attached to them. These make the best scenes. What you want to do is have a looping background and then go to the events or any single shot sound, for instance, a door opening and closing, um, a laser target. You want to use those as normal. They can be saved to scenes, but they will only play once at the very beginning. So the best way to use it again is to select looping background sounds and add those to your scenes. Uh, another thing is the scenes are saved to the device that they're created on. So if you create one on your laptop, the scenes are only going to be available on that laptop. If you then go to your iPad, you're going to recreate the scenes on your iPad. We don't do logins or anything, so it's very uh, simple. Um, again, it's a great way to save a lot of time. Uh, you don't have to sort through all the buttons. You don't have to load scenes uh, with individual sounds one at a time anymore. You can just go back and forth and everybody will be happy that you're not buried into your device with the sound. Um, I hope you find it useful. Um, please feel free to donate to my Patreon as an orange P on most of the pages of the site. I really appreciate every little bit helps. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. I'm at gm at tabletopaudio.com. Um, you can also find me on social media, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I'm at Tabletop Audio on Twitter and Google+. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you guys find this useful. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.